Years behind schedule and not without some controversy, America's fifth generation fighter jet represents the future of stealth aircrafts. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the five most interesting things we could learn about the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, the brand new super jet. We're probably already working on it. Number five, F-35 helmets allow pilots to see through the plane. Visibility has always been a challenge in fighter jets. I lost them. I'm looking, I'm looking. Previous generations of planes have sometimes had multiple screens showing real-time imagery from four different directions. But the custom-fitted $400,000 F-35 helmet shows real-time imagery from infrared cameras all around the plane in a seamless augmented reality display, effectively allowing the pilots to see right through their own plane. The display also shows them targeting information and interfaces with the communication system. Congratulations, military. You're one step closer to being Iron Man. Gauge heads up display. Check. Report all preferences from home interface. Will do so. Number four. The F-35 is the most versatile fighter jet ever built. In 2001, the prototype of the F-35, the X-35, was named as the victor of the Joint Strike Fighter Competition, which was created to find a replacement to multiple aircraft, including the F-16 fighter, the low-altitude ground support A-10, and vertical takeoff-enabled Harrier jets. As such, it's sort of a Swiss army knife for multiple branches of the US military. It's designed to perform bombing missions, support ground troops, and perform well in dogfights. In theory, the F-35's versatility should change the rules of modern combat. But critics, like defense analyst Pierre Spray, are skeptical of this jack-of-all-trades concept. Spray argues that the technical requirements of each role are so inherently different that trying to design one plane to meet them all will only result in an expensive, mediocre flying lemon. So what is it good at? It's not good at anything. What about it's a, a turkey. A bomber? Those critics might be right, but unfortunately, as civilians, we don't have access to the full range of test flight results, so we won't know for some time. That's classified. It's what? It's classified. I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Number three, the F-35 Lightning II is expensive. Spray's at least right about that part. You know a plane is gonna break the bank when even the helmet cost $400,000. But for the craft itself, for the actual F-35, the price depends on the desired model. The conventional F-35 for Air Force purposes will cost $98 million. That's called the F-35A. The B version is capable of short takeoff and vertical landing and goes for $104 million. Finally, the carrier-based F-35 is valued at $116 million, a little more due to something called lift system which allows for vertical takeoffs. This is a huge plus when being deployed from a carrier vessel. Compare these prices to the F-16, which these jets are designed to replace. According to Time Magazine, the Pentagon stopped buying F-16s in 1995 and paid an average of only $17 million each. Number two, the F-35 program is global. Well, I guess one result of all that spending is that a lot of people get paid. The plane's official website, yep, weapons have websites, claims that it creates or supports jobs for nearly 150,000 people in 45 different states and Puerto Rico. In fact, nine international partners initially banded together for heightened global security. The United States, Canada, Australia, Denmark, the Netherlands, Norway, Turkey, the United Kingdom, and Italy which is home to one of the two final assembly and checkout facilities beyond U.S. borders. The other is located in Japan. Rather than seeing this international, multi-state involvement as a positive thing, some critics of the project say that spreading out the workload is just Lockheed Martin's way of making sure that it will never get cancelled. Which is a legit concern, because... Number 1. The F-35 program is behind schedule and over budget. Despite the international cooperation and the mind-boggling technology of the F-35 program, the fact remains that it's still years behind schedule and wildly over the original budget, as in $163 billion over budget. The F-35's program, program's record of performance has been both a scandal and a tragedy with respect to cost, schedule, and performance. Congress was not happy. The original delivery date for 1,013 F-35s was 2016. Less than 200 had been delivered as of April 2016. With costs skyrocketing uh, for a plane that has been plagued with troubles after troubles. Some have charged that Lockheed Martin's system of concurrent flight testing and production is a recipe for expensive retrofits. Design flaws. 
including to its engine, caused expensive retrofits and lengthy delays. A 2016 Government Accountability Office report noted that defects in the plane's computer brain could mean increased costs of up to $100 billion more, pushing the entire project to $500 billion. Perhaps that's just the cost of security? What do you think? Will the F-35 improve global security? Or is it just a massive, expensive boondoggle? For more Jack of All Trades Top 10s and Master of None Top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.